I know I said I would post more often, but I lied to you. Okay, so my camera broke. The Canon EOS that I was using broke. I don't know why it won't like focus anymore. I'm not sure what it is. So I have to get it taken in to get out or fix, but I just got a new camera. It's the Sony ZV-1F. This camera I used in one of my vlogs because uh, they sent it over to me to try it out. And I loved it so much that I kept thinking about it and I finally purchased it, but uh, it took me a while to convince myself that I needed it because I had the Canon. I was like, maybe that autofocus issue is, is, is just me, blah, 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 but I got it. I just wanted to unbox it for you guys. I'm using my iPhone right now to record. Sorry for not posting regularly. But I'm hoping because I got this camera, I'm gonna start recording more and more. Ah, don't break it. Okay. Oh, she's so cute. So when I tried this camera out for the first time, I realized how light it is. I think it's made of like recycled material or something. So it's very light. It reminds me of my first camera ever, Canon G7X. That also broke. <laughs> That's the camera that David got for me. That broke because I think we were just a little rough with it when we went to Yosemite. Oh, look at it. That's kind of cute. <laughs> My God, Dumi, stop it. <laughs> no, don't you dare. No, you testing me? A huge update is though that David and I are going to Italy. So we'll be in the Amalfi Coast and then the second half of the trip will be in Rome. But this is our first trip abroad together. Never been to Europe before and so this is gonna be super exciting and we're really nervous because we don't know what to expect. But um, we're going with our two other friends. Oh yeah, uh, you guys are probably wondering where David is right now. He is actually filming with his friend at the gym. I'm very proud of him. Trying to be a little more active on social media. So he's been filming stuff, especially for fitness because I feel like that's so him. You guys should follow David on Instagram, David Chosen One. And yes, it's not David Chose None. It's J David Chosen One. Hilarious, because his last name is Cho. Um, oh, do you miss the baby kids? Okay, so I wasn't planning on getting anything. I just wanted, you know, just, just look around, browse around because I love Gentle Monsters so much. But as soon as I saw these and I tried them out, I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. Sorry if my hair is like all wacky. These bangs just do not want to listen to me. So chic. Do we like? Do we love? And they're black, which is perfect because I could wear these forever. Do we love them or do we love them? Oh my God, we just started watching Beef. It's so good and it's so funny because we've never seen or watched a movie or a show where David and I really relate to the characters because we live in the OC and they really portray OC Koreans so well. Like with the church scene and everything, both of us were like, oh my god! And, and the scene where Isaac brings out the t-shirts and he's like, we made t-shirts and it says chosen ones. Dave and I were like, okay, that's icing on the cake. Because David's Instagram handle is David Chosen One, if you guys know that. And so while we were watching it, we're like, 
This is getting too weird. Good morning, everyone. I am here at AAA because David needs to get an international driving license or driver's permit because we're planning on riding Vespas in Italy. So exciting! But um, apparently you can get it the day of, so we're here right now. Oh my gosh. Yesterday we got dinner with our friends and then we went to an escape room. It was so fun. I think David and I are getting like the escape room bug, as he calls it, because he loves escape rooms. He would go with his two friends a lot. Yeah, I'm like starting to enjoy it. I did go to one where I was freaked out though. Guys, this was so scary. Like a month ago, David and I went to this place or this room called Hex Room and basically each person is in their own room and they have to figure out that specific escape room so that they can get out and then help the rest of everyone else who gets out of their rooms in the center. And uh, I didn't know that it was gonna be scary and I'm like, I'm like a big scaredy cat and I hate the darkness. Like that's one of my biggest fears, just like being in the dark is really scary for me. So when we went into it, I didn't know it was gonna be scary and I'm like in the lobby signing my papers and I'm like, huh, this kind of looks like it's scary. And then I read the paper and I'm like, wait a second, guys, is this a scary escape room? And they're like, uh, yeah. And David's like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. And I'm like, what? You know how scared I am? Oh my. And not only on top of me being scared, I have to do it by myself. Like I'm in this room by myself. And I guess the game master, he assigns each person to their room, right? We're watching the video and stuff. He like pretty much calls my name and says, you gotta go in this room. And I'm the first one to go. And I walk in. It's freaking scary in there. It's dark, really dim light, but it's flickering. Little creepy noises. I can see that there's blood everywhere. It's like chopped off heads and fingers and, and I have to like cover my head like this because I don't want to look at anything else. And I have to tell myself this isn't real, it's not 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 real. I'm like actually getting freaked out. I'm about I'm about to have a panic attack. So I'm in there and then the game hasn't started yet because everyone needs to get to their rooms. I'm the first one in the room. So I'm freaking out. I'm like okay I just need to like calm myself down like it's not real blah, blah, blah. barely touch anything because I'm like so freaked out. I found out at the end my room was the easiest and I didn't solve anything for a while. I solved one thing and it's like I opened up a lock to uh, a cabinet and as soon so the cabinet I didn't even go like this it just like popped open as soon as I unlocked it and a bowl of cockroaches like, psh, like in my face After that, I'm like, nope, I'm not solving anything else. And then, out of nowhere, the cabinet starts opening slowly in the bottom to my left foot. And I'm like, oh, hell no. So I'm like, and I'm like, what the F is coming out? A scary thing's gonna pop out. I was like, oh, hell no. Oh my god. The person just hit their car. Oh my god, that person just hit their car really hard. Oh my god! <coughs> I'm shaking. <coughs> anyway, so, explain my story. So this door opens up, and I'm like, hell no! Let me just get back as far as possible, and I hear like, dum, 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 dum. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, please! And then I see like, a person coming out, and I'm they said there's no live actors here. Like, what the hell? And then I hear David's voice and he goes, Babe, babe. So then I hug him and I'm like, babe. It was so crazy because I went from being scared like a little baby to my entire body just like 
relaxing. It was like a crazy feeling. Like I felt so safe the moment I realized it was David. My whole body, it was like so tense, like so anxious the entire time. And then the moment I see him, I was like, oh. like I felt my whole body relax and I was just like holding on to him. So pretty much he solved his room. And the last puzzle was him having to crawl through like the small crawl space, which is so creepy, but yeah. That's what he had to do. Yeah, and then uh, he came in, so he was able to solve everything in my room too. Ghost, and I'm off. Mama. 